Welcome, Welcome everyone. Hello. We are finally Hello. starting. You are all incredible. And I cannot believe that I'm lucky enough to be on this table with you. And I know you're all women in motion, um, hustling, creating, doing many, many things on the go. So I would like to start by just congratulating and celebrating you, starting with Rintu Thomas. Rintu is the co-director of Oscar-nominated documentary, Writing with Fire. Rintu, thank you for <laughs> creating history. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, my God. Thank you. Of course, my partner in crime on this one, and I hope many more to come, <laughs> Aparna Purohit, the woman who walks the talk. And whatever um, we are going to be speaking about today, she's actually made massive strides uh, to make happen. Juhi Chaturvedi. Juhi, first of all, thank you for bringing sexy back to slow writing. <laughs> <laughs> also, Juhi is taking the plunge. She is becoming director. Wow. And then, of course, the lady congratulating Juhi sitting right there, Tahira. <laughs> Tahira Kashyap Khurana just finished her first feature as director. I want to clap for myself. <laughs> There's Jeeva KGA. Jeeva's you. first film, Richter Scale 7.6. Um, we'll have to do a separate session with Jeeva to kind of go through all the challenges of how she made that film because that's a story in itself. Sumuki, so, we love you. <laughs> you are probably the Woo! funniest woman on this table. And thank you for starting Motormouth. <laughs> Gayatri! Gayatri! <laughs> we are dying to watch the two hot boys oh, in the yeah. Hindi Just remake of Vikram Veda. Separate thank appreciation you. for yeah. And yeah. then, yeah. 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 Shweta Tripathi. Yeah. <laughs> Shweta has also decided to turn producer. Oh, wow. 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 She was advised by someone to change the narrative around the roles that she was getting. And somebody said, then why don't you make the kind of films and you know create those kind of roles? Uh, this was in 2015, and if I'm not mistaken, hmm. and then seven years later, this year, I think Shweta is ready to take the plunge. And of course, we're coming to Mini Mathur. Mini has just finished the second season of Mind the Malhotras. So Mini has been bringing us the best of reality shows for over two decades now. And then at 47, Mini decided that I am going to be in a web series and do the lead role and escaped all the stereotypes attached to women that age. Then there is Aisha. Aisha Devitri has thrown a big boulder called Gehraiya <laughs> in a placid lake. Uh. And the ripples of conversation it has created is staggering. <laughs> and then, of course, uh, Amrita ko sab log badhai do. So clap and clap. Thank you so much for, what, uh, for backing a narrative that has really changed the game you know, of like LGBTQ hiding. narratives yes. in the mainstream. Bhavani is writing uh, multiple, I think, uh, screenplays at the same time. And uh, Bhavani, seriously, thank you for being here. We have to clap for Bhavani, please. And then there is Richa, who was not just happy, you know, being in front of the camera. She turned producer last year. Please. Her first production won at the Berlinale. Wow. Um, you know, wow. won a grant wow. at the Berlin Alley oh, Film we won Festival. Two grants. We didn't win. You yeah. won two oh, grants. It is. And of course, Nupur, many, many congratulations on Unpause. You've done prolific work and coming to Kunila. Yes. yes. Kunila, you know something? You've actually um, given us the name of this initiative. I did. You know, which is Maitri, oh. uh, the female first collective. So, guys, there's an anthology, a Malayalam anthology out there called Freedom Fight. And mm. Kunila has done one amazing chapter in there and mm -hmm. penkut is mm -hmm. the word that i discovered this word it means female friendship and then we discovered the word metri which was one of the explanations of that word and that's how the title for this initiative came about abana and i had a conversation and we really wanted to put a room together and we are hoping that we can curate rooms like this under this initiative the reason that we wanted to put metri together to bring in women who can uh, collaborate with each other, support each other. I think just hold the door open. Often we are told uh, at work, uh, workplace especially that forget your identity as a woman. You know, 
don't say that you're a woman. Just work objectively. Just keep working. But how does one do that? Mm -hmm. How does one forget one's identity, one's core of being a woman? Uh, and in fact, I you know often think about it, and I feel that it is this disassociation that leads to a misrepresentation, underrepresentation of women, not just uh, within our industry, but I think across the board. And that leads to undermining our authority, our work, and snatches our agency. And it's so important to you know, uh, uh, take it back. And I'm also incredibly grateful to Smriti and everybody at MAMI to help us shape this and put this together. Uh, Smriti, you kindly introduced everyone, but I can just say that you are the embodiment of uh, fierce, independent, ethical journalism, writing, and creative direction. Thank you for being there for us. Thank you. I want to begin by asking each one of you that when is the first time in your workplace you became aware of your gender? You know, because you don't go in thinking, I'm a woman creative director, I'm a woman comedian, I'm a woman anchor. You don't go in thinking that. There is that one point, that slight point that comes where you become <laughs> aware, you know, and maybe uncomfortably aware. I was made aware of my gender as soon as I wanted to do anything in the film industry. And very acutely so, in terms of inches, measurements, mota patla chota zada bada, kapda, dhila, loose, whatever, you know, it was... I write. And I want to direct my film too. After I had a narration and I had a couple of shots to back my vision and my craft, um, the person said, okay, chalo, tum, um, script likh sakti ho, tum, why don't you just stick to being a writer? I don't know why every writer wants to become a director. And I really had to put my foot down uh, that this is what I want. This is my deal. I'm approaching you with a vision I want to uh, direct. So when I started as an AD, I was the only girl on set apart from the hairdresser. Mm. My hair was really short. I wore these really loose t-shirts, loose mm. jeans, keds, no makeup, no earrings, nothing. Mm. In fact, what the fight master once thought I was a boy and said, hey, <laughs> And I was like, I thought he was talking to the other guy. And I was like, oh, he was talking to me because he didn't even realize that I was, uh, I was a woman. So it was always like trying to uh, hold my sexuality back, hold my gender back. And, and then I kind of started coming into my own when I started directing. You know, then you realize that kind of, okay, now I don't need, up to so people know that you're a woman. When I started uh, hosting shows, at that time there were no game shows and whatever, they were just setting up the first lot. Um, I was called for an audition. Uh, I, you know, the producers loved me, the directors were like, Ye, well, we really like you and all of that. They got me on. There was a male co-host who was not even a postgraduate like I was. My script is this much, <laughs> and his script is this much. I am just here as, you know, like Filler. anecdotes. Filler's. Filler's. And I was like, excuse me, why is there so mm. much? No, no, because wo hai na ho I said, I am not here. I'm, a, I, I'm here to be a 50% partner. I'm not mm. here as a fill in the blank or, a, or somebody <laughs> who will score keep or time keep or what the hell is happening. It was very upsetting uh, for me when I started my career. But then I took, you know, I, I made those choices that I'm not going to be, I'd rather not because I have, you know, other yeah. things to do, then, then do this. And I'm glad I did, because ever since then, nobody has had the <laughs> to come to me and say, Aapka was itna sahi hai. Aapka <laughs> sahi There was this one time when, you know, a big producer had come to pitch a few projects uh, to us, got him to the conference room and asked him if he'd like some coffee. And, you know, we both sat across the table. And, you know, for the next 10 minutes, he was either in the phone or, you know, kept looking at me and smiling and, you know, so oh, after 10 minutes, <laughs> after 10 minutes I asked him if he was waiting for someone. So without even looking at me, he said, yes, your boss. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I told him, uh, you know, I'm here to listen to your story. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so he said, yeah, yeah. That's very, That's very nice. Saying it. <laughs> very nice, but get your boss in. <laughs> so, uh, I said, well, you know, I'm going to be deciding whether we do this story or not. So he was flabbergasted and he said, wow, huh, 21st century, huh? <laughs> he went, oh, oh, God. God. Just making it all. Oh, oh, yeah. He's going down this spiral, somebody stop him. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, I think he just mm. couldn't deal yeah. with, uh, you know, a woman being mm -hmm. in a position of yeah. responsibility and authority. And I think that is what we need to change. Just out of college, we were like all like bright-eyed and like, okay, I, I, I did my Viscom, so 
you're trying to get your first job and all then I'm like I'm really geeked. Yes, I got it. I mean like a <laughs> lot of my classmates are still struggling. What are they talking about kinds? So then it's like an ad production house. So then I realized they hired me specifically. I mean I immediately got it. Like so they had a, a little girl coming from Bombay. So they basically mm. need a babysitter. So just like I, mean, I, I was Dead. just made to okay, okay, so okay, it's a process, okay, fine, like let's babysit kind of. Then uh, like another uh, like it was an Indo Hollywood production kind of thing. I get hired. So I'm like, okay, wow, something is okay. <laughs> no, then there was this uh, one actor from Hollywood, like who's like really big built. I mean, like I mean he has uh, an issue. So like, you know, he somebody has to help him, I mean, he's like uh, to get into the flight and so again it was like caretaker. Like, no, I mean, ah. I'm qualified. I'm like, I've done mm. something. And uh, that production house, they have other stuff also. So, so whatever I would do, so I was trying to impress them and say, I, I actually have a script and all. So they told, oh, that's so cute. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> 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 I mean, like, yeah, that's very, yeah, that's like super insulting. I instead you say, okay, it's, it's horrible, it's terrible something. Yeah, that's okay. I mean, that's more respectable. Yeah, so, and it's like, it's not coming even from a, like they're not even trying to be nasty yeah. to you. It is just like mm. it's natural. Ah. Ah. So that it's is the natural part. Because <laughs> I'll never forget this name, Mr. Vashisht. Okay, he has changed my stand-up career <laughs> because it was one of the shows where I did. Uh, there were two boys in the lineup, and of course they're like, "Abhi, now we have to put a girl. Otherwise, they'll be like, why there's no girl?'" <laughs> and I'm like, "I don't care. Just give me the spot. I don't care about a background. I'm <laughs> Nikal." So <laughs> I'm going there, and first the comic went up first who uh, fairly is junior to me. He goes, kill, full, blow, blow, get it out of the park. Everyone's laughing. I was like, oh, great, good energy. I'll also like, you know, move with the same energy. Yeah. And I went on, on stage and I bombed for 30 straight minutes. Oh, God. Not <laughs> one person laughed. Oh, and which is fair, you know, Maybe you go through understand. this. Yeah. That, <laughs> all of this is done. Uh, was a, a male comic went after that. He killed uh, very hard. Because also he had some beautiful uncle jokes and the audience was filled with uncles. And some one, <laughs> one five percent aunties who I know were laughing. You know, they were laughing, but they couldn't laugh loudly. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and I, st uh, of course, as I was very sad outside, I'm sitting, I'm drinking water because now you can't have alcohol after this. <laughs> then they'll ask you, saying, give money for 500 rupees after bombing. So must, 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 Mr. Vashisht comes, okay. He stands, he's very like, good effort, good effort, don't worry. I was like, oh, thank you, sir, thank you. But don't, you don't have to worry about these things. Why worried? I said, no, sir, I'm not worried. I'm sad, actually. <laughs> but, he said, no, no don't, don't be shy. Don't be worried. No, anyway, what? You have to get married. Oh, my <laughs> God. One day you'll get married. You'll take care of... It's not like you have to earn money from this. No, the other boys have to earn money out oh, of this. Boy. They have to take care of their family. He really meant... He was thinking mm. he's being my father. <laughs> what kind of thing? Yeah, what kind of thing? Sadly, I met my father. Yeah. It's natural. It's yeah, so he's very... And he's going on and on. I'm just staring at him like this. And I'm like, no, Mr. Vashi, this is my full time. It's your full time job. Oh, you do. You should definitely get married. So work on your weight loss. Otherwise, <laughs> double attack. Not only gender, body also has entered. I said, do you want my mother and father's name? <laughs> so he really changed my life. It also made me realize the audience's receiving power for stand up, uh, especially. I think when I started was much very very much male dominated in terms of audience member and now predominantly my audience members are women mm. and I love that I'm like please I'll keep mm. it like this 80% yeah. of women and 20 some five boys will come get bullied like crazy in my show now I won't bully they'll only bully each other <laughs> I felt I was constantly looking for validation from outside and I feel like we do that with a lot of men, where we're yeah. hoping for some person in authority yes. to validate yeah. us. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But sometimes it's about looking within yourself and knowing your contribution, yeah. knowing how far you can push yourself. Yeah. So for me, I realized my hurdle didn't come from the men around me. Mm. I was very lucky. I have a super supportive husband, a wonderful child. But for me, the hurdle was when I became a mum, I started feeling, can I do all these things? Mm. That's when I realized I was a woman. I said, I have to also manage a baby. I have to manage my home. I need to manage my hairstyling career and my writing career. And that somewhere got me a little broken because I felt like, what if I can't? Mm. And then I realized men don't think of these things. Mm -hmm. They pick up the office bag and they go to work. Mm -hmm. And I said, you know, <laughs> yeah. and at the same time, I felt like many a time we tend to take guilt upon us, which is, is unfair. Mm. Just because I'm working does not mean I'm neglecting yeah. my child. Yeah. I think I'm a 10 on 10 mother, as I'm sure most of you all here who have kids are. And I feel like, why put that pressure on ourselves? Yeah. We as women need to understand that we can be mothers, we can be wives, 
and we can be kick ass at our jobs too one two or three jobs we are getting that chance i really think it's also our responsibility to make sure that nobody doubts us again uh, so i had written the show and uh, this director who has done nothing comes in and i am told to narrate to him yes and he proceeds to tell me how to write a script he's not Oof. written a single script <laughs> and he proceeds to rip apart something that i have spent uh two years writing he's not read more than f- the first five pages and uh, he proceeded to give me a master class in writing and mm-hmm. the what i was most angry about is that at the end of it i i broke down i cried yeah it's i think that is where uh, you know i feel a solidarity like this helps mm-hmm. because we'll stop crying you know mm-hmm. and we'll stop yeah. acting we'll start acting perhaps yeah mm-hmm. you know when we were growing up theaters were uh, crappy places to go to yeah. there were no loose there was there was nothing mm-hmm. so we would still go and we were the only women i have an elder sister we were the only women in the theater so the audience was male right now i remember in 2003 4 5 there were a lot of companies that came where there were a uh, structured producers coming in right so one could even aspire to be a producer mm-hmm. and i started of all things wanting to do distribution <laughs> so you know that part of the job because that sort of tells you one of the grassroots realities mm-hmm. we were and i have been asked not where's your boss but where's your father ye yahan pe kyun kaam kar rahi hai because otherwise why would you sort of take up a career in distribution and there were no women at all even now i don't think there will be any you know <laughs> and the fact is that uh, you know there was this film that we were making i will take the name of uh, which we were promoting the poster of which were five boys without shirts jumping in the sky and there's a aircraft going up and you can't see the face of the actor <laughs> right mm-hmm. and uh, they sent the posters back i remember calling up all these international distributors i was working on this film said that hero ka chehra nahi hai aapko matlab uh, experience nahi hai aap please kisi se baat kariye ki aap film kaise bechoge it was rang de basanti mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. where we had to send new posters out with like the face and like many more actors on that face wow. this is distributing a film like rang de basanti which then became what it became like beforehand Uh, and you were constantly told now what happened also is that then multiplexes came in so women audience like sumukhi yeah. said increased then it yeah. became a 70 30 of women in multiplexes mm-hmm. right audience uh, there were women coming in and now that you have women in you know aparna's place for instance you know you have filmmakers you have women who are audiences they are spending money mm-hmm. marketers are looking at women as let's target ads to them mm-hmm. now one really has that influence which one didn't have then so i think what is really lovely is that we are all here in our own position in different positions you know whether in whatever situation and i think things are really changing i remember we made a film called no one kill jessica ah. again all theaters ye to female lead film hai iska kuch nahi hone wala hai you know all of that and you know those are films that started doing well where you could cast women in main leads and now you know is really a good time for us to be heading in that direction but remember where it came from yeah. there were no toilets for women yeah. 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 to watch so how are yeah. you going to have content yeah. for that audience in the world of non fiction i started looking up experienced directors and delhi is where i wanted my base to be so um let's say miss vashisht <laughs> <laughs> and the lady and she offered me the role of an ad and it was research intense very exciting project was supposed to come on a big network i was super i just plunged myself into it I worked really hard came up with a concept a script the channel approved it uh, then she said go ahead direct it and so excited uh, one day before uh, the shoot was supposed to happen i was supposed to have a meeting with the dps and she called me into her office and said you know we're changing the director mm-hmm. and i was like why what happened what more can i do and she said you know the dps are not very comfortable with having oh a God. woman oh. director who's young oh my young. god and she said it mm. and i'm glad i heard it because it hurt <laughs> so bad mm. and um, i was furious but i, I was just like ab to main direct karungi aur main produce bhi karungi mm. because that's where the power is and it's mm. so cool yeah. to have women who are producers on this table because that is where you call the shots correct it's so foolish for people it's so cute na that will become yeah. a yeah. 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 so cute you the word it's like when i told somebody i want it I want to write, and I'm writing for myself, mm-hmm. not so that I can present the script to a studio and they say, "Oh, take this target." Mm-hmm. I'm like, no, I want to write for myself because I feel like these aspects of me as a performer 
have not come through and i want to write a really subversive very transgressive gritty teeth dark comedy about something that all women will relate oh to oh my god yes one problem is pulling women in giving yeah. and creating opportunities the other issue is there are multiple dropouts i just want to go around the table that you feel that you can do or you want to do or you've put into motion to protect women create more opportunities uh, pull in people and make the workplace a more humane space personally committed to uh, you know a balanced authentic uh, female representation on screen and uh, some may think of it as tokenization but i have made it a mandate to have a woman writer in every writers room and i've often had people come to me and say but where are the women writers but there aren't any <laughs> but where are the women cinematographers so my team and i we worked on a database and every time anybody comes and tells us that there aren't any writers we give them the list <laughs> you have wow. a list of 50 people i'm we are sure you'll find at least two you know you can't come to us and tell us that there aren't any uh hygiene uh mm. you know uh the fact that nobody can be unpaid on our sets it's a mandate there are no unpaid interns on any of uh, you know our sets um also uh, you know any time anybody comes and pitches anything to me in my head the bagel test starts you know <laughs> what is a <the> woman <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> how is she forwarding that narrative yeah, you know yeah. what is happening i feel as a woman if i'm not asking those questions then who would and mm. i'm also very happy to share that 70% of my own team is women Whoa. you know so i i'm really working uh, towards it I, i i feel like if you have to make an impactful change it takes time but you need to start chipping away and i'm very glad that we've taken the first significant step today i think it's you know as a uh, i've just had a daughter a year ago and i feel like something that i've learned being a parent is setting the culture so i feel like wherever we are right whether you're on a film set in office as a parent it's so important to set culture of to set the culture right which really is that when you're you know hiring people like aparna said lots of women on the team i think it just comes instinctively uh, whether you know female writers male writers i mean how do you want to sort of directors it's it's setting a crew it's also about pay pay gaps we're very conscious uh, you know of making sure that uh in the organization specifically because I, i mean i can talk about that because i've been in organizations before uh how can you take a look at that and you make sure that that's fairly done i think that to me is also yeah the disparity yeah. making sure there isn't disparity for two people doing the same job similar jobs also obviously when you're uh, sort of compensating people otherwise and having a crew and also things like simple things like a toilet in a production office i mean yeah. you know it can yeah. start from pay go down to toilets Limits. go to setting yeah. culture there's so much work to be done there's so much to be done yeah. that it's just about setting that culture in the house in the office look It's, at yeah. what yeah. you're trying to change we've all grown up watching a film with 14 songs in which it was like uh, uh, sabka pura dhyan dhare sham dhale tak kaam kare yes. sabse pehle uthe sabse baad mein soye sab ko chai pilaye कुत्ते की पॉटी साफ करे बच्चे को स्कूल ले जाए यू नो दिस इज व्हाट वी हैव हैव अप विद बीइंग इन एडवर्टाइजिंग आई नो वी क्रिएटेड दोस काइंड ऑफ वेमेन फॉर आवर ब्रांड्स वेयर दिस वुमन इज लाइक completely like she's like a devi she yeah. does yeah. Know, she yeah. does everything she also yeah. looks good yeah. she wears yeah. modern clothes Kitchen modern clothes like a kurti and a, 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 a you capri. know capri capri but side note like uh, this is not this is not something i'm doing as a change but i have too much fun doing this whenever i get a brief uh, for a role which is mainly best friend so <laughs> when i just enter the room and i just do the audition for the lead i just do the audition for a skinny That's girl so <laughs> 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 that person is just like that मुझे तो मिलने नहीं वाला तुम देने तो नहीं वाले तो हमने कहा तो फिर कहाँ खड़ी रहना है एंड द वेरी लाइक तो मैम आपका कैरेक्टर ये है हाँ हाँ राइट तो आयशा राइट हाँ मैं आयशा का रोल कर रही हूँ नहीं मैम मैम आप श्रीनिधि का रोल नहीं मैं आयशा राइट आयशा सारी आयशा मैं इसमें कुछ ज्यादा पतली तो नहीं लग रही so as a society i'm contributing but what i'm putting it on your structure you know <laughs> taking okay. off from you i'm going to also put out a rant out there because yahan par bahut sare talented writers hai please can you like not can you go there and smash all the boxes there are for actors mm. ya to aap young hai ya old hai ya slut hai ya virgin hai ya sister hai ya best friend hai ya bhabhi hai ya mummy hai where the <laughs> 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 
<laughs> are the rest of the <laughs> real rest women how are they being represented cinema like apart from uh, gender and all that it's uh, the most capitalistic industry yes. i mean i can yeah. it is like very clearly okay how much your film is making then you yeah. get your cast or your funding whatever so that is but uh, what is great now is uh, with ott is coming in see it is like always it's like a friday game it is like even today it is under 30 male which is predominant uh, you know predominant audience so then you have to kind of clock the numbers also and so then uh, all this will take a back seat then like television has gone the i mean completely gone I mean, uh, yeah, yeah they, they had the uh, women audience and they just got it wrong <laughs> so i think now with the ott thing no so like now you can actually tell those stories i mean not uh, just i mean not just women filmmakers or women writers but if you take a series it it doesn't it, you don't need to rely on one just one cast you know yeah. you can yeah. have like a bunch of people and it need not be i mean age sex all those things don't matter it need not just revolve around one person you can i mean uh, narrate a story with like six leads Yeah. six leads so six leads that is when you can actually you know it has to kind of make sense in terms of uh, you know cost versus this thing also audience also so that i think long form storytelling is actually that way it is like super i mean you can tell a lot of stories about uh, varied uh, yeah. age groups and like you know whatever like whether it's suppressed classes or all kinds of things can come in you, that gamut is covered let us have enough number of people coming forward with content so that we can differentiate between bad content and good content let's put together 100 female filmmakers and then talk about the uh, you know ratio of difference i mean uh, who makes better films and who makes uh, worse films yeah. the thing is for us to have conduct any kind of research on the quality based on any kind of index be it sex or uh, color or whatever uh, we need to have the numbers first which we don't have yet get i had come on amazon to be mm. honest really really blessed because the film has been polarized the beauty of the the entire thing coming on ott platform is we've got so many reviews from women saying you've showed flawed women characters mm. who we connect with and there have been so many men who've been uncomfortable <laughs> with the same topic yeah of course so it just showed us that we can actually display flawed characters yeah. without having to protect them we didn't have to safeguard these characters yeah we could come yeah. out there and we could portray them the way we wanted to we could experiment with the screenplay experiment with the film without the pressures of that friday mm. uh, and yet hopefully everyone made money it's not about writing fantastic women characters or yeah. or just satisfying your that woman inside you for all the things that have gone wrong so i'll take it out all in my writing no it's yeah. not like that i see a world in a certain yes. way where men are really good yes yeah. and yes. they will not let right. and they will not yeah. use that yeah. opportunity to yeah. kiss the girl you yeah. know that scene in uh, piku where piku and rana are driving yeah. and bashkor is sleeping they're just about to reach uh, kolkata and that's a very that's a moment where they can wait and a moment they can perhaps because she's dozing off mm. and he looks at her and trust me had it been so many other people filmmakers they would have perhaps wanted mm. to use that mm. yeah. moment quickly to show a kiss between them or a little you know holding hand Intimacy. or something but like that you, yeah. you had Some, yeah. you had but, a bigger intimate you, moment there you actually had him yeah. putting the jacket jacket yeah, yeah. 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 exactly yeah. so so it so is tender. how you want to show men also mm. absolutely yeah. you yeah. don't That's want well to said. agree you know this scene where um uh she comes out of her bedroom and bhaskar is announced unwell and she comes out there is sayed who slowly walks out of the yeah. room right i love that i love that now while uh, they shot the scene inside also but on the edit table i said this cannot be shown it's not about what she's doing in the bedroom the film is not about that at all and we disagree with it so let's not even shoot why are we shooting anyways because you'll not come back on the sets it was shot but uh, that <laughs> is enough to show that this is a family this is the father this is the woman unapologetic and they don't have to give an excuse for yes. anything she doesn't now that is what i believe and i must or you must or all of us must continue writing that is that itself you know is a big contribution yeah. i feel because uh, mostly people expect that as a woman you would write male characters who are unlikable and mm. i am always told it 
men like you write the uh, you know varun and lutera or uh, iqbal and razi they don't exist they only exist in a woman's mind no that's they don't true. No, no, that's they exist in my life yeah. they exist in all our lives yeah. we have all seen lovely men so you know just because you're a woman it is not mandatory that you're going to do male bashing i really carry each one of us in every struggle that we've had every little joy that uh, we've had of putting ourselves our stories out there uh, every person who didn't believe in us and every person who did i take all of us with uh, me when we walk the red carpet um, <laughs> everyone's like oh the, it's it's the big india moment yes it's also a big india women moment yes. we need positive reinforcements mm, and yes. i take the energy of this room with me thank you so much i am a mother i am i am a director i am an actor and i am going to produce wow. a movie oh. and oh. Oh. And she also she is a lecturer she teaches yes more power, more power. <laughs> and i am writing three script at the same time i am wow. doing this whole thing at <laughs> the same time awesome. so uh, i think women can do anything yes <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for making the time to do this we've uh, learned many things today that we are going to put into motion but uh, we will get in touch with you we will stay in touch and we will keep asking <coughs> and putting out stuff out there that you're doing with your companies that you're doing within your teams mm. uh, and and just basic mindfulness in terms of how we can make this a far more humane equitable place mm. uh, you know to work in and i also want to take this opportunity to thank the amazon team uh you know they wanted to do this uh, democratically they wanted to uh, do a long it wasn't one of those things that let's put a panel together get some women together mm. and you know we'll talk about stuff and we'll just leave it there but a long program to kind of you know really really see what the problems are and how we can solve them and take the agency back uh you know within us